I extended my compression algorithm to support, get this, 12-bit color. <laughs> Who doesn't want 10% better image quality? Who doesn't want it? Everyone. Everyone doesn't want it! We already have the best video chat. People are using this on their cell phones. They're not going to be able to tell a fucking difference. Guys, this is a better product, and I'm the CEO, and I'm gonna say this is where we go. You fucking prick. Whoa. Guys, uh, please be civil. You hate the video chat. You did, but you did it using my algorithm. Right. Like when Picasso painted a masterpiece, the guy who made the brushes and the paint deserved all the credit, right? So you're Picasso now? I think I need to leave, but I love you guys. I mean, the guys are right. I'm fucking up the company. I'm not helping in any way. You're certainly not helping your cuticles by biting on them. Your nail beds are going to get infected. Where'd you learn how to do this, anyway? Oh, uh, when I was on the street, it was a means of survival. <clears throat> I don't know. It's just... Uh... I mean, I almost killed us, the company. That is so selfish. I mean, if we have to get a million users, I, I need to get us funding right now. How? We've already been turned down by every respectable VC in town. Who said anything about respectable? Oh, Richard, no. So you're not behind it, Richard. I can tell, and as much as you want to be, you're not. Look, it's like this. You're trying to date a woman. But deep down in your heart, you know you're gay. Uh, but deep in your soul, you know you would rather be plowing a dude. I don't... I don't... Okay, what dude? It could be any dude, as long as you really want to fuck him. It could be a... A twink, a bear, an otter, a circuit queen, a chub, a pup, a gipster, a daddy chaser, a leather man, a lady boy, a Donald Duck. Donald Duck's a gay guy who's been kicked out of the Navy. How do you know so many gay things? My grandfather just came out of the closet. Beautiful, very inspiring. But the point is, oh. if you're gonna spend all day fucking... Shouldn't Pied Piper be a dude you want to fuck? All right, let's do an exercise. I will grant you guys a perpetual license to use that algorithm in your video chat, but I need the algorithm to build something else. <laughs> and that way, everybody wins. So we can use the algorithm free and clear for video chat? Yes. I mean, we, we shouldn't even be talking about this. And you would leave behind your 25% thus giving me enough equity to compensate the boys fairly, and Big Kid's father would retain his 50%? I think that's right, yes. And I would own 10% of your new company. Wait, what? why? The algorithm was developed here in the incubator. Richard, shame on you. Ah, uh, well, deal breaker. Let's, uh, should we get some food? No, no, that's okay, it's fine. And uh, I'm here for advice, or advice for the new CEO, whoever that may be, to wit. Uh, I know it's probably not my place to give this suggestion, but I think it should be. Dinesh. Plus, if I'm wrong, which I'm not, I get rich. So I'm down with Dinesh. Jared, what do you think about this? I think this is crazy. I left my job at Hooli to, to come work with you, Richard, and, and now you're leaving? Look, these guys, they're going to need you. So if you want to support me, you support them. Think you can do that? I've always been very adept at taking the shape of whatever shoe was pressed down upon me, so I can try to make it work. Then it's settled. <laughs> Jared, go. Go on, man. Get out of here. Well, what are you waiting for? Can't you see I don't watch anymore? <laughs> Just get out of here, you stupid, dumb animal. <laughs> five, not four. No, you said, you said four? No, five. I said five. Jared, can we get the uh, five more engineers? So that, would, that would come out of Jared's percentage. No, it's impossible. What's, uh, oh, what's going on? Are you celebrating something? We were just chanting. I mean, what does that even mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Look, you don't have to do this. Really, uh, it was my choice to leave the company. And besides, my 
internet thing is going great. Really, it's going very well. Uh, so I, I want you to succeed, and I want you guys to be happy. Sure you do, slugger. <sighs> Stop. Really. It's cool. I mean that totally honestly. Hey, Jared, you were there, right? When we split the company into two, Dinesh and I had a very clear deal. Stop, please stop, Richard. What, what, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm complaining about Dinesh. He's, he sucks. He's my boss now, Richard. Well, your boss is being a real prick. Richard, we have to bifurcate our relationship. You and I can no longer discuss business. All right, we can... We can talk about anything else two guys might talk about. We can talk about sports teams and their scores or pussy, but, but you and I cannot and, and will not discuss business. Oh. That's weird. Hey, Richard. Have you seen the new Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition? The cover model has the most lovely, enigmatic facial expression. Jared, I, I don't really want to talk about guy talk. I'm here to tell you that I think Dinesh may be in some serious trouble. Okay, so um, I was analyzing a bunch of user data, and uh, I no, noticed... No, 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 no. Richard, Richard, I told you I can't talk about this. You have to bifurcate. No, Jared, listen, you're going to want to hear this. Wait, what do you mean you were looking at user data? You violated our system? Richard, you were inside us? Don't tell Dinesh and don't tell any of the other guys, okay? Just don't tell Dinesh. Me. Richard, Dinesh is my CEO. Oh, God. What are you doing to me? Did I make you angry? No. Uh, I'm trying to save his ass, okay? I'm trying to save you. Just survey the users and make sure you ask how old they are, okay? And then that's it. That's it. That's it. No more. This was your company before it was mine. What are you talking about? Dinesh, I specifically reminded you to port over the terms of service from the platform. Right, and, and I asked if you'd done it, and, and you said you had. Okay. I checked the TOS box when we submitted to the App Store, but then I didn't end up doing it, all right? And then when we caught fire, the last thing I wanted to do was to bog our users down with legal bullshit, you know? I mean, nobody reads that stuff anyway. Well... First of all, everyone reads the terms of service. And secondly, they would have given us legal cover from exactly this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Wait, are all these Peter Gregory's notebooks? Um... Are they? Are they your spots? Richard, I... remember you promised you were going to get some sleep tonight. Yeah, I will. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Oh, my fucking God. Richard? What is it? Jared, look. It's all here. Peter Gregory knew the value of a completely decentralized internet. I mean, look, look, the internet we deserve. I mean, look, even back then, Peter was worried that the internet would become this shitty corporate controlled thing that, that Hooli and all these other companies manipulate today. But the idea is real. It's just that Peter didn't think it was feasible unless compression surpassed the theoretical limit of a 2.9 Weissman score. We shattered that limit at TechCrunch Disrupt. Yeah, baby. Huh. Exactly. I mean, goddamn it. I always knew there was a perfect application for my algorithm. These notes, all this, this is going to save me months. This is it. I mean, I was right all along. I was right. Can I just, can I try something? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. So, what's up? Well, here's the thing. Remember that phone number you were curious about in here? Well, it's not a phone number, it's a patent number. A patent for exactly what you were planning to build. Uh, so Peter patented it? No, I, um, I spoke to Brian Fong. Who? Brian Fong. Oh. He told me that Peter was very excited about the idea, but there was some resentment that he wasn't focused more on what the team was working on. So one of them went out and got a patent on it. Why didn't this guy pursue it? But the patent was just a roadblock to keep Peter focused on the company they were starting. A company that went on to be known as Hooli. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that the perfect application of my algorithm belongs to Gavin fucking Belson? I'm afraid so. Richard, you gotta let me in. I have your shoe. I'm I'm sorry to barge in here, but you have to eat something or you'll... Okay, I get it. Look, every day this week I have been <clears throat> at Gavin Belson's house. 
What? Gavin has offered to go into business together. <laughs> but look, I just came there for the patent, and he was the one who wanted to be full partners. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> we talked about it, and we agreed that it would be the best thing to do. Oh, good lord. Richard, no. Guys, look, I have the patent. Are you out of your fucking mind? When you don the skin of the beast, the man within dies. What is that, uh, Nietzsche? One of the boys in my group home always said that. He died. You're not pulling Dinesh off seafood? And I am not leaving seafood to go work for Gavin fucking Bells. All right. Thanks for understanding. Uh, you're welcome. Why would Richard trust a recruiter to source him recruits? It doesn't make sense. Huh. What? You guys seem like super invested in who Richard hires to work with Gavin Belson, that's all. Are you insinuating jealousy? This is just concern for Richard's vision. Mm -hmm. If Richard wants to saddle himself with mediocrity, go for it. <laughs> you did not. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Next time you bust out the old sea dude, give me a call. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, guys, you know Brett? Nope. Uh, it's great to meet you guys. We've met. Uh, okay, well, it has been a pleasure. I shall walk you to your car. All right. Okay. Uh, after me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I hate him. Richard, I know it's none of my business, but I worked with that Brett Saxby fellow at Hooli. He's a talented engineer. But in an office environment, he can be both tardy and fresh. Uh, I'm, I'm not hiring him. He uses spaces, not tabs. I see. Okay. Well, that's a relief. But Richard, what about the next Brett Saxby? Or the Brett Saxby after that? And even if you vet them all, you are still in a room with Gavin. So we're partners. What's your point? He and his, his posse of, of bandits and cutthroats will turn on you in a second. You need me, the half-crazed, half-Apache, who will do anything to get your back. I'll scalp Gavin if I have to, and all the rest of those pale-faced sons of bitches. I'll kill them with knives. I'll kill them with guns. I'll kill them with my hands. I'll talk them into suicide. It doesn't matter. All right, Jared, I, I think what you're asking is, you want a job? If you think you can find a place for me. Yeah, of course, Jared. Yeah. You're more than welcome to work on this. But uh, just to be clear, you're not going to stab anyone, are you? <laughs> oh, it feels good to lay off. Oh. <laughs> so, so that's a no, then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're both headed to Gavin's. Indeed we are. Together again, Butch Cassidy and his head of business development. Oh, wow. Another Western reference. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Richard, Brett Saxby ran my data analytics team for three years. Respectfully, I think passing on him is a mistake. Yes. Well, uh, I met with Brett Saxby. And um, uh, t t t to be honest, to be honest, I don't, I don't think he's our man. Fair enough. There are plenty of good alternatives on this list. Although I'm a little confused by your notes on some of these people. Yeah, there are pages of graphic insults here. Fucking Gilfoyle, right? Richard, would you be open to having Gilfoyle on the team? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I'd hire him in a second, but he'd never do it. Richard, Gilfoyle is a man of intense pride. So when he refers to a potential employee as a, a pig-faced fucknose, what I hear is, I need to be needed. Gilfoyle? Richard would like a moment, if you don't mind. <clears throat> you guys need me to go somewhere else. No, that's fine. You can stay. You can hear this. Uh, okay. Well, Gilfoyle, I have reviewed the candidates, and it is very clear to me that our company cannot succeed without your unrivaled talents as a systems architect. So would you please, 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 please... Come work for Pied Piper. Thanks for asking. I'm going to put this as delicately as I know how. You can chortle my balls. Okay, wow. So who do we want to run front-end dev? Contest or fuck jerk? 
Listen, this thing with Gavin isn't going to work without me. So, because I feel bad for you, and because I'd hate to see you fuck up good tech, which will happen if I'm not there, I'm willing to help you. That's a beautiful gesture. So, you're back aboard. FYI, Becca Thornton is a cancerous, prolapsed anus of a human being, but as a systems engineer, she's not all bad. More success in you, Richard, and I just think having an asset like Gavin Belson you on say? your side... You dick! Oh. You dick! You dick! Okay. Oh, all right. Fuck you. Okay. But I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. This is already the best job I ever had. I don't know what to say. I am so, so sorry. I just couldn't let Bryce talk to you like that. Did I frighten you? No. Fuck him, right? And fuck Gavin. I mean, what, we take his orders now? He's our boss? We're supposed to be partners, you know, like equals, right? And what, he's taking the advice of that stupid little pretty boy over me? Wait, he has a garage in his garage. And he has a yacht with a pool on it, and a pool with a yacht in it. Oh, and he has a real live blood boy. What, he has an actual blood boy? That's real? Yeah, he's real. Real mouthy. I mean, he's sticking his perfectly symmetrical face into actual smart people's business. I mean, that Kendall probably thinks traversing a binary search tree runs in the order of N instead of log N. <laughs> Idiot. Jared called him a dick. Seriously? Do his face? No. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Aye, aye, Captain. And uh, just word to the wise, uh, often the first customer is the hardest one to learn. Medical groups, sales groups, insurance companies. Jared, yeah, good work here. Really. Well, Gavin was right. His name certainly opened a lot of doors. Ever since your announcement, everyone has heard of us. Jared, you didn't tell all these people that Gavin was still working with the company, did you? Well, no, but I, I never explicitly said that he was. And was that wrong? No, Jared, that's fine. The tech will speak for itself. It certainly will. And then it just happened. On the floor? We were like two wild animals. <laughs> I'm sure it was magnificent. I get pissed at Ehrlich for not coming in in his pants, and then I go ahead and do this? Shit, I mean, Dan's gonna find out. I mean, he punched Ehrlich in the face for when he did it to him, and that, what do you think he's gonna do to me, huh? He's gonna fucking kill me, and then the deal's gonna fall through. I can't believe I jeopardized the entire company with my dick. Hey, hey, we can get through this. Yeah. All right, first I need some details. Are you in love? What? No, no, I, I barely know her. Okay, okay, that's good, yeah. then. We just need to extricate you from this situation. Okay. Now, it's not going to be easy because she's very probably in love with you. Jared, I, I don't think that that's... Richard, this is no time for false humility. You're a catch. Just deal with it. Now, you need to break this thing off clean and clear. So you just walk into that office and, and you look her in the eyes mm -hmm. and you say, Listen, baby, you're getting hitched. And, and I was born to roam. Born to roam? Hey, Jared, did I miss any calls? Not a good time, my man. Jared? Uh, sorry. Nope. No calls. What a shocker. I need to call Tara. Okay, but I, I need to hold your phone. It might be sexual in nature. Well, I think I can handle that. <laughs> now I'm just getting to the door. I was born in Rome anyway, so. Hey, Jared, um, look at this email here. Uh, dear Richard, I recently became aware of your Space Saver app. I think your app may infringe upon my own patented technology. If your schedule permits, I would love to discuss this with you as soon as possible. Sincerely, Stuart Burke. Well, I thought we handled that patent stuff. We own it, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll send him a harshly worded cease and desist letter. Actually, uh, his work address is some house in Mountain View. He's probably just working out of his garage, just like us. Why don't I go over there, walk him through the app, you know, coder to coder. I'm sure it'll be fine. You've got a big heart. Or maybe it just seems big because the rest of him is shrinking. Hey, Richard, but you're not seriously going to defend yourself in court, right? Well, Larry Flint did it. And Sir Walter Raleigh. Although he lost and was publicly beheaded. But you could argue that he eventually won in the court of history. I get it. I should have settled, okay? And I didn't. And you're right, I will probably lose, but I'm not going down without a fight. And I've got all of Monaghan's discovery from the Hooli case right here, so that's something. 
Oh my God. This is from high school. This, these are all my notes from the original build of Pied Piper 1.0, back when it was just some stupid search app for music copyright. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Sorry. Everybody okay? I don't know, you fucking maniac, are we? Probably. Richard? What are you up to? About six foot two, Jared. So? So, he bought it. A Klein and sinker. Yeah, he thinks his search results are real. You trolled the troll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For a second there, he wasn't buying it. And then I just started babbling on about tech specs and saw his eyes glaze over. Well, as a result, we now have a perpetual royalty-free license for the patent. Yes. See? Ooh. I stuck to my guns. And as a result, we now have 20 grand we would have otherwise lost if I had to listen to you, delicate little snowflakes, and settled. Yeah? 20 grand. Yeah. So let me come into a bucket and have you all drink it. Uh, Richard? Okay. A, a moment. Sorry about that. I, I, I regretted it the second I came out of my mouth. Richard. Well, yes, but... Here. What's this? Um, that is a pill from Ron Laflamme for the paperwork you had to do to put your coalition of companies together. $22,000. Yeah, it's at the high end of standard. So it would have cost us slightly less if we did just... Paid the troll? Well, that's true, but can you put a price on dignity? Apparently I just did. Do me a favor and uh, don't tell the guys. Yeah, you have my utmost discretion. Thank you. Um, speaking of, Richard, I, I need to tell you something. Um, I had to let Ed Chambers go. Who? My fictional supervisor. He bragged to a sales rep at LaCroix about doing it to Sonia Sotomayor. So Ed is no longer with us. I'm sure we can manage. He also was never actually with us. Right. Because he was never real. Out of sight, out of mind. And out of reality. Yeah, well. Dan Melcher runs a very conservative insurance company. But even he was willing to pay us upfront for data storage, right? True. Although that was complicated. What? It's a, just a, such a in the weeds deal. Point being, we could find another customer and then use that upfront payment to cover Melcher's fees. That's like getting a new credit card to pay off your old credit card. Yeah, and as CFO, I should tell you, we've already done that seven times. And look, I don't have any moral issue with any of that, but it was hard enough to get Melcher. How the fuck are we gonna get a second Melcher? Saving you 25% on your data storage, which makes us pretty deserving of the uh, Weissman Trophy. Oh. <laughs> you know, the Heisman Trophy yeah. from Athletics. Ah. <laughs> Dude. This demo is insane. Oh. Uh, gentlemen, you're stepping on Richard's laughs. I'm sorry, but I walked up a hill. Uh, no thanks. No, I'm, I'm not a VR guy. Richard doesn't like things that are cool or fun or taste good. Plus, it, it makes him queasy. He has a sensitive constitution. Ah, uh, come on. You're going to do it. Look at him. He's going to do it. It's going to be awesome. Come on. You're doing it. Come okay. on. Come sure. on. I guess. After you. Wow. You really vomited a lot. And like immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Bad luck, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, look, anyway, about that uh, data storage deal. Oh, yeah. If Ehrlich says it works, that's good enough for me. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's great. Um, well, I guess we should get back to the house, drop some paperwork for mm -hmm. that. Uh, we should be able to pull everything together by Monday. Hello? Hey, guys. I have something to show you. Have you been here all weekend? Is that the sushi guy? Oh, matching pajamas. You guys look like you're in a cult. Oh, Keenan gets these for free. And yeah, we're not going to wear the same thing three days straight. You got to come check this out. Fucking Keenan Feldspar. How dare he put me in this position? Everything just comes so easy to him. He invents one little thing, and then he's going to make a billion dollars and just, oh, Keenan Feldspar gets whatever he wants. And now I have to be the ogre that says no to him. Great. Richard. You are my captain, and I'm your mate. 
and I will sleep in the bilge with the vermin and I will eat hardtack and I will say thank you. And if duty requires, I will stand on deck and I will salute you as we sink beneath the waves. But as poor as our odds are, I'm, I'm worried that if we turn down this offer, we will lose the rest of our crew. And if that happens, you will lose everything, Richard. Your algorithm. So you're saying that if I say no to this, I risk having a mutiny on my hands. I, Captain. Thanks. <laughs> Richard? Yeah. Are, are we okay? Uh, no, Jared. We're, we're not okay. We're fucking rich. Uh, guys? Oh, he came in the front this time. Oh. <clears throat> so we need to talk to you. You need to talk to me? You may want to have a seat. Okay. <clears throat> Is that a new sweater? Hey, Richard, there's some bad news. <clears throat> Richard, right before Keenan signed the Ravika deal, somebody else swooped in and offered him an absurd amount of money for his company. And he took it. Really? So Keenan sold his company? Deals are off the table. We're not going to Hawaii. Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, Richard, we know you fought really hard for this deal. Yeah. You will never forget that. Yeah, I did. And I would gladly fight for it and you guys again. Gosh. Damn. So, what if we somehow hack our code onto the app? Then we will have our 120,000 phones all in one day. I'm sorry, you're, you're talking about sneaking our code onto people's phones without them even knowing about it? I mean, that's malware, Richard. No, 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 no. Think of it more as um, forced adoption through aggressive guerrilla marketing. Well, as a product of forced adoption, I can assure you there are consequences. No, I will not help you on this mission. No? Richard, we always said we didn't want to end up like Hooli. How are we like Hooli? We are trying to give free internet to the entire world. If we have to bend a few rules here and there. I mean, it's all for the greater good, is it not? Gavin Belson started out with lofty goals too, but he just kept excusing immoral behavior just like this until one day all that was left was a sad man with funny shoes, disgraced, friendless, and engorged with the blood of a youthful charlatan. I am never going to be any of that. Richard, not that long ago, you agonized over using a, a stolen login to get into a bake-off with Enframe, a company that stole from us. But now you're, what, shrugging off large-scale cyber crimes against innocent civilians? It's a means to an end. It's not who I am. I mean, Lincoln had to suspend habeas corpus to end the war, but he restored it after. Lincoln, Richard, it's not that easy. There's always a next time and a next time and a next time. I cannot knowingly contribute to your moral decay. Well, what if you didn't do it knowingly? You're always telling me how you spent your entire childhood pretending that everything going on around you was okay. Uncle Jerry's game. Yeah, that. Let's play Uncle Jerry's game. Do you know what you're asking? C4210. Oh. Well, it looks like us. Oh no, that can't be. No, this is not what I was promised. It's fine. Well, they told me that we would have prominent placement with proximity to high traffic quarter. <laughs> We're in the middle of the row here. So? Yo, who gives a fuck? Well, Jared does, and, and we do as well. Uh, you know, what? why don't you go check out what the bathroom situation is like? Yes, nothing would make me happier. Good. You know, I actually believe I'm... 
Hendricks. Here he comes, folks. Richard Hendricks, the Monet of Compressionism. Jared, <clears throat> hey, which of the bathrooms see is closest? Um, end of the row, 78 paces to the right. Great. What did you change it to, Richard? What? Joel's screensaver. It doesn't matter now. No? Poop fair. I'm sorry. Poop fair? Yeah, it's a, it's a play on the name. Is it a play on the name? Piss fair would be way better. Or penis fair. Or a piece fart. That's just changing one letter. Look, he, he turned around. I had like a second. Okay, it's the best I could come up with. Poop fair? Poop fair. Are you serious? Yeah. You sacrificed everything that we've worked for. For poop fair. How was poop fair for the greater good? It wasn't. You compared yourself to Abraham Lincoln, Richard. Can you do me a favor? Can you say it so I know I'm not hallucinating? I just did. Just, just say it. Dare it. Richard, look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. And you name our undoing. Hey, come on. Calm down now. Poop there? You reckless child. Gentlemen, come with me, please. Did you say that, Richard? You know what? Yes. Yeah. Yep, this is me. Because apparently everything I say or type gets me into trouble because I'm an idiot. Well, now. Tinley! What the hell are these gentlemen doing in my office? We caught them with pineapples. You mean the pineapples that I hired them to bring to the conference as part of a covert penetration test of our Wi-Fi security? Sorry, uh, we didn't know. You weren't supposed to. Now, give these gentlemen their passes and equipment back and get them back on the floor. There you are. You never came back to the booth. You didn't want to see how it all turned out? I wasn't really in the mood. Are you playing peace there? Yeah. I just gave an orphan her first calculator. Good. Good. Uh, but I've got something much better. You see that number? That is the number of installs that we've got from MovieCon alone. We have moved all of Melcher's data onto a network of mobile devices. We did it. Did the nation go for love? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they know. Now that this worked, they like me again. They're off uh, getting churros to celebrate. I told them that we would meet them at uh, Barker's keynote. So, come on. I mean, Richard, the fact that you think that success justifies all your behavior. We were in crisis mode, okay? And yeah, I lost my head, but crisis averted. So it's time to reinstate habeas corpus, huh? Be honest, Abe, again. What about the next crisis, Richard? Jared, this won't happen again, I swear. So let's just enjoy it for a minute, please. The 36 Huli phones that blew up at HuliCon and the 17 that blew up around the US all had our code on them. Richard, these are real people with real crotches and, and they're burning. We have to tell someone. This was our fault. No, no, no. Keenan's demo was built to run on a $10,000 rig. Jack ported it to a phone in four days. They wrote sloppy code that's pinging the antenna constantly looking for the goggles. That had to have caused the phone's antenna to draw too much power. Which would overheat the subbar battery. And when we pinged our network on top of all that... Dick fire. Richard, what happened to being honest Abe from now on? We 
committed a crime here. Barely, Jared. The fact that we hacked those phones works in our favor. All of our code is hidden. Agreed. And when Huli launches a new software update to fix the phones, our network will still be functional. Melcher will be happy. Monica will fund us. And no one will ever know what we did. I'll know. Yes, I'll know too, but I'm okay with it. I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? I write three letters every time I start a job. A personal action plan, a letter to my 40-year-old self, and that, a resignation letter. Uh, I'll be moving my things back into my condo. What about you, Squatter? Oh, he's been out for months. He let to go sell cocaine at the Keystone Pipeline protests. I've just been staying in the garage out of solidarity. You can't leave. Don't beg, Richard. I'm not. According to the employee handbook, which you wrote, an employee cannot leave without giving two weeks notice. You, you read the handbook? Yeah, I did. All right, fine. I'll fulfill my duties under protest, but I will not do anything illegal nor unethical, and I will not lie. I already have upwards of 50 burnt perineum on my conscience. Richard, that's enough. Consider that my two weeks notice. Guilfoyle, Anton is going to be fine, okay? Just spin him up, please. Richard. Oh, yep. Okay, thank you, Jared. Uh, so what, what time did Big Head say he needed us there? I don't know. He said whenever. Typically, campus security requires a specific window for deliveries of this size. Okay. Did you send him an inventory so that he could request and clear a static IP address for each server? No, no. I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe I'll just give him a call. No, and, it's, uh, it's fine. It'll be fine. Well, maybe I'll just text him. And Jared! Arrange. Oh, my God. <laughs> just stop with the second-guessing, hand-wringing, pearl-clutching bullshit, okay? For just like a fucking minute. You know what? Um, I wave you two weeks. You can go. What? You wanted to go? Go. Bye. Thanks. I'll order a lift home. Then. What the fuck was that? You fired him. He already quit, remember? Besides, he was being a fucking asshole. Jared was being an asshole. Oh, do you want to go with him? Because if you haven't noticed, if we don't get this shit to Stanford and all set up by 9 a.m., we are fucked. This is fine. What? Yeah, my bad. I, I thought you were talking about, like, a, a lot more stuff. Great. Oh. <gasps> Fuck. So anyways, my office is unlocked if you guys just want to, like, toss that on my desk or whatever. I should probably get back, though, before that teacher guy gets me in trouble. I'll see you guys. How? Who? You had me open up the back to get the batteries, and then you told me not to put them back. So, no one... Either who would have remembered to close the door. Jared. Richard. Can I come in? Um, I, I have company. Is there a girl in there? <laughs> How many girls are in there? Richard, what do you want from me? Nothing. It's just, you were right about all of it. I killed Anton, and uh, I lost all of Melcher's data. Everybody fucking hates me. I'm, I'm basically one blood boy away from being Gavin Belson. I did not <clears throat> run the company with integrity. But <clears throat> I'm going to end it with some. I'm going to Melcher's office and I'm coming clean. Anyway, I'm really fucking sorry, man. Well, I'll leave you alone now. Hey, this guy fucks. Richard! Let's 
Sys. It's a job application. I'd like to submit myself for a position with Pine Piper. I'd really like to be there till the bitter end. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Jared called us. If you're gonna eat a giant plate of steaming hot shit, we figured it should probably be a team effort. Okay, thanks. Um, I'll go check in. Hi, could you tell Dan Melcher that Richard Hendricks and the guys from Pied Piper are here to see him? You guys are Pied Piper? The guys who built our data storage network. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was awesome until it crashed this morning. I was just using it two minutes ago. It's working fine. Really? Yeah. Uh, what's he talking about? It's up. All of Melcher's data is there. Well, how is that possible? Well, what are those devices? Those aren't phones. Anton died so we could live. Like Jesus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guys, do you realize what just happened? We are still alive. The network is stable. Mm -hmm. The new internet works, and this is the proof. We did it. Yes, did we it. did. Wait a minute. If Melcher now lost access to his data, what's he so upset about? Richard, I'm so sorry. We were tasting cakes, and then you called, and then it just came out. What came out? You said it! Yeah, I think there's a story here. No! 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 No!